Hey Star Wars fans and action figure collectors, thanks for tuning in to another Star Wars Vintage Collection review. We're checking out the Armourer, this is number 179. Uh, really excited to have this figure, I was uh, very very happy with the 6 inch version. And from all accounts this version is just as good, so I'm really looking forward to opening it. Um, yeah, great card art on this one. Uh, yeah, on the back, other figures in the wave. And of course, the number VC-179, as I mentioned. Um, yeah, let's let's not mess around. Let's open it up and have a look. All right, here is the armor out of the packaging. And this is a pretty impressive figure for three and three quarter inch. I'll be quite honest and say straight off the back, I do prefer the six inch version of this one. Um, this is still a great figure. So we're going to take a look at what we got. Um, because I, I do dig it. I just, uh, my personal preference is with the six inch version. So um, yeah, I'll just uh, adjust my lighting rig a little bit here. There we go, this should uh, pop up nice and bright now. So accessory wise, she does come with her sort of welding tools, um, the big hammer and the uh, forceps there, or tongs. I'm not sure what they're exactly called. Um, but yeah, they're a simple plastic. They just look like plastic molds um whereas the six inches six inch ones were um I'm pretty sure they were painted um if not they were cast in like a more solid solid plastic so they just looked like metal um, whereas these ones look kind of like plastic which is a little bit of a bummer otherwise i they, i really like the aesthetic of the figure um the sort of head and neck joint sort of looks a little bit funny to me i'm not sure why um being one of the people that got the uh six inch version with the soft goods cape um, it's nice to have one with a plastic cape now as well um, just to just to compare the difference this thing isn't removable so the Hasbro is not going to jump out and give us another version of this one with the soft goods so <laughs> that's okay um, but uh, yeah it would have been welcome because we've had some great vintage collection figures like uh, Wolf comes to mind from you know 2003 2010 or 11 um, he had that great soft good skirt which was fantastic um, but this one looks pretty good I, I dig the look looks cool um, I, I really do love her helmet and outfit um, yeah it's very I think I said it in my six inch review of this of this character um, it's almost very like medieval cross with Spartans um, ancient Rome that kind of thing and Star Wars of course <laughs> um, but yeah, really nicely designed, cool paintwork, cool weathering, you know, there on the skirt, that sort of layered leather look looks great. And uh, yeah, they have done a good job with the sculpt of this, it looks looks really good. Sort of weathering on the helmet is nice as well. But yeah, one thing I liked about the 6 inch one is you could hold these a lot nicer. Um, obviously that's a scale thing um, you know being a small figure it's a lot fiddly to uh, to try and get them to hold hold something so small it is quite fiddly uh, got all the t articulation you're after in a three and three quarter inch figure so that's great but uh, yeah I definitely want to know what you guys think in the comments below let me know please drop a comment if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you have yet to subscribe to my channel please do um, I really do appreciate everyone's support if you've stuck around and subscribed and all that cool stuff. Um, so I'll be back with another one. Moff Gideon is coming up next. Really excited about that figure. It's a dark saber man. Um, yeah, drop a comment. Strike up a convo. Let's chat. Let's talk about the armor. Great figure. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Till next video, may the force be with you. We're a little rushed, so if you'll just get on board, we'll get on it.